Do you want to see all the amazing new features the new Garmin NXi has to offer? Upcoming now. Hey guys, I'm back again with a new Europilot Center review. In my videos, I'm handing you tools, tips and tricks used by professional pilots to make your flying safer and of course even more fun and enjoyable. Hey, and if you're new to the Europilot Center channel, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button below. Last year, Garmin introduced a major update to the ever-popular G1000 integrated fly deck. The Garmin G1000 NXI. Where does NXI stands for? Next generation? New generation? Honestly, I have no idea, but I do know it stands for a whole bunch of incredible upgrades, such as brighter screens, faster CPUs, a more intuitive user interface, and much more. Let's take a look at the new features on Europilot Center's factory new Skyhawk equipped with these amazing avionics. One of the first things you'll notice is how fast the NXI initializes, which is especially interesting in a busy flight training operation. You'll get quick access to ASOS, ATIS and flight plan data. The increased display brightness is a great improvement when flying in bright sunlight conditions, such as here in sunny California. When selecting frequencies, the NXI shows you the station ID. This improves situational awareness and reduces the chances of dialing in the wrong frequency. Overall, you can notice that Garmin has modernized the layout with, for example, rounded edges. It just looks so much better. On the primary flight display, you can now select what is called an HSI map. Beside the standard CDI, this feature enables you to overlay a full geographical map including your route of flight, terrain, traffic, weather, you name it. When zooming in, you'll be able to see taxiway intersections, runway holding points and even ADS-B ground traffic. When I first saw this, I couldn't believe it. You can literally see the guy that would otherwise just appear out of nothing. Your timer remains now visible, even when removing the timer reference menu from your PFD. This is a simple but great improvement as it keeps your screen clean with less clutter. On the MFD, there are plenty of new things, such as a more structured way to input your flight plan. The menu will let you enter the departure airport, add a runway, standard instrument departure, followed by the route portion consisting of airways, intersections, exit points to end with your arrival, approach and of course the landing aerodrome. Beside the option to select an instrument approach, the NXI now offers visual approaches. This provides you with guidance in VMC based on a 3 degree glide slope from the threshold of the runway. Simply select the runway for which you've been cleared to land, select vectors or straight in for the final approach, intercept and just fly a visual approach. You can even couple it with the autopilot. This feature is especially interesting when you're operating at an airport without puppies. The standard GPS map has been enhanced with a vertical situation display, also called VSD. It shows you a full VNAV profile including top of descent, bottom of descent, your profile in respect to high terrain and this enables you to alter your descent path angle in order to maintain terrain clearance in VMC. If you'd like to use the FA sectional charts, you'll now have the option to display a full interactive FA sectional with ADS-B or XM enabled. You can add traffic, weather, TFRs. In flight, it's very simple to obtain up-to-date METAR and TAV data for any airport offering this information. The NXI system works flawlessly together with the Garmin Pilot app. The system called Flight Stream is basically nothing more than an SD card that helps you to connect your tablet to the NXI. This can be used to upload flight plans previously created at home, update your chart database, etc. So let's recap. Overall, I think the Garmin NXI is a serious improvement. It brings all the technology available today into one integrated flight deck solution. There's simply nothing comparable on the market. And yes, it comes with a price. Garmin did a great job on improving the user interface, changing the hardware, such as CPUs, backlighting. The cool thing is that previous G1000 users will feel immediately at home when using the NXI. 
At Europilot Center, we've been using both systems mixed and the transition went great. My advice, when you have the option in buying a low time second-hand airplane with a standard G1000 or buying a brand new airplane, I would definitely go for the new one with the latest NXI avionics. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Garmin G1000 NXI review. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, stay safe and join our personal training in style.